Hey there guys, Mr. Nano here at the Rory Myers Children's Adventure Garden. I'm down at the plant lab and today I want to talk to you about our new colorful canopy lab that we're going to be rolling out in just a bit. So it's fall here uh, in the children's garden and in the coming weeks we're going to start to see the trees, their leaves, they're going to change color from green to oranges, reds, yellows, purples, all those familiar beautiful colors uh, that we see in the fall. And sometimes we ask ourselves, what causes this color change? And that's what we're going to talk about in this lab experiment that we're going to do uh, right here. So what we're actually doing here is a process called leaf chromatography. And that is when you take leaves, like here I have some green spinach and also some red cabbage. We're going to use a couple other plants as well. And what we're going to do is to break those into little pieces. We're going to add um, some isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, which will help pull the pigments out of the leaves. And then we'll do something really amazing, which is take filter paper and apply it to the solution. What that'll do is pull out the pigments. And it's almost as if they're in a race with some colors ending up at the end and some staying stuck at the beginning. So what we're going to see is not only the green and this dark red color here, but we'll also see colors like orange, which are carotene pigments. We'll see the yellows of xanthophyll and the different types of green that are in leaves, uh, different from the main chlorophyll that we see in most leaves every day. So what this lab shows us is that the colors that we see in fall are actually there all the time even though they're covered up by the main green or red coloration that we see just looking around us. So if we can get beneath that green, there's a whole world of color to explore. So come down here, try leaf chromatography with me, Mr. Nano, and I hope to see you in lab soon. Thanks, guys.